We're here in Dubai doing the, I would say, I would have said unboxing of the Gomeric 40 liter backpack, but Amazon didn't send me a box, unfortunately, they just sent me the bag itself inside a plastic case. So I'm going to show you what uh, the bag can hold and what compartments it has. All right. Let's get to it. So this is the the Gomatic travel bag, forty liters. A set of uh, pictures saying what you can do with the bag. Built to last. Organization, carry on size. Water resistant, custom hardware. Reinforced construction. Durable lining material. Tech organization, full perimeter zipper. TSA ready 15 inch laptop sleeve, easy access to pocket. Backpack and duffel bag carry, carry on your back, hold it on the side with your hands. RFID safe pocket, shoe compartment, and uh, yeah, that's it. Alrighty. So the bag itself is... I wouldn't say it's very big. Uh, yeah, about duffel bag size. A medium duffel bag size. I don't feel anything inside, so it's uh, a bit drooping inwards. But... Uh, there's the Gomatic logo. Right, so if we put it up, it stands up this way. Then we got a zip over here at the top. And this is a zip for probably your sunglasses, you know, things which get scratched easily. It's got a nice uh, soft lining inside. Yeah, so it's got a soft uh, lining inside to store your glasses or anything else. I mean, I'm holding the phone in a funny position where I'm looking to the other side, which is a bit funny, but nonetheless, we switch it over. All right. All right, so I've got a soft uh, inner pocket at the top, right there. Soft material. I mean, I would have liked to be something that is inside the case of your glasses, which is smoother than this material in here. And I do have a case right here so comparing the two materials this okay well I'd say it's quite similar yeah quite similar alright so that's uh, one of the first zips at the top then we have another zip at the top and I'm guessing this is the waterproof case store any things which contain liquids in here 
prevents it from leaking into the bag and falling out of the bag. It's, yeah. It's like, uh, I think, tarp type of a material. If I am not mistaken. Okay, so those are the two zips at the top. Let's do the zips on the sides now. Okay, this side has no zip, as you can see. And then we got the bottom of the bag, which is right here. We got a zip there. So I'm guessing this is for your shoes. It does go inside the bag. So if I push it in, that's basically where the main compartment of the bag will be. So, you know, it reduces space depending on how big your shoes are. So if I push it in, it's probably going to come till around here, depending on the size of your shoes. So just uh, be aware of that decrease in size of the bag. Once you put in the shoes. Okay. So now let's go to the other side. So we got two zips. We got one here and we got one here. But uh, let's put it the right way around, which is this way. And let me get a chair also. Okay, so we got one zip here. Let's open that. That's the bigger zip. So big zip, small zip. Okay, let's do the small zip first. Okay, small zip is open. I mean, it's pretty tight. So it's about it's about that deep. So it goes all the way to the bottom, hand size uh, pocket over there. So whatever you want to put in, which is the size of, of this hand, should go in there. Okay. Now we do the next zip, this is a longer zip. I think this is also the same thing as the other one, but it's just a bigger pocket. And it also goes all the way down. So one hand, two hand sizes. Okay, we close that. And then... Let's go to Okay, so this side has a zip so This side has a zip also, which is the opposite side fully opens to uncover the different uh, compartments inside the bag All right so we got the RFID safe you know put in your passports credit cards ETC Okay. 
Then we've got a net pocketing right here. But uh, hand inside. And then we've got another one over there, which is the same, another hand inside. This is very difficult to take with one hand holding the phone and my other hand is fractured so this is a bit tricky. i got another zip there which I opened. It holds another pocket the size of two hands. Two hands, one hand there, another hand there. Okay, beautiful, wonderful, amazing. Then you have your duffel bag handles over here on the side. That's one. Right there. And the other one should be hiding over the other side. Okay. So, so that's the other side. And that is there. And this goes into the through the bottoms like that and this comes over and basically latches on and you can hold it like that you know what i'm saying like just like that right and then you have your shoulder straps right here see it goes through here it's just a strap right there. Okay, and then you have the waist, uh, whatever this is. This is also removable. Um, they've done it uh, quite nicely. All you have to do is push this in, just like that, and hook it up. And you get rid of the waist strap. In my case, I'd probably remove it because when I go on my uh, adventures into the bush, don't really need no waste traps. You know, we do that bush hardcore style. All right, now we got a zip. I believe is for storing your laptop. So you can see there from the back plate right there. Zip goes all the way around. And now we just need to find the zippers. Zipper, zipper, zipper. Where, you, where are you, zipper? Okay, so we found one zipper right there. Opening it up. The way I use my bags, they tend not to last for very long. Because it is very rough usage. And especially when I'm trying to remove my camera and I'm on the move. And I see an animal that I want to take a picture of. I really have to keep on unzipping and zipping and unzipping and zipping. So it takes a toll on the back quite a bit. Okay, so I've opened that zipper and this is what's inside. I'm guessing this is a laundry bag. Yeah, it is a laundry bag. Let's see what it says. Okay, so it opens up. You can hang it. And it's also got a zipper for the top. Expand to hang on a hook at your destination. Very nice. Lifetime warranty. Okay, so if anything happens with the bag, I'm guessing if it's not my fault, then they'll probably repair it or give you a new bag. But you know, they gotta make bags which can handle my usage. This ain't no ordinary usage. In Africa, the places we go, the dust is like ash. You know, it gets in everything. And zippers are not too particularly suited to ash. Then you got some anti-mold chip. Okay, so I'm guessing this is where you put your laptop in that's the cover 
So unzip, unhook, unlatch, un velcro that. Unlatch the velcro. It's got a nice soft inside. Prevent scratches. And then a smaller one for your tablet or something. It's nice. Yeah, it's quite deep. Yeah. And then this side here is the rest of the bag where we put in everything else clothes, shoes, if extra shoes, toilet kit, and all those things. Okay, so I just uh, brought some random clothes over here. Let's see what can fit inside. So I think we start off with the shoes. So let's find the compartment where the shoes go in, which is here already and open. So I got some shoes here. Let's try these, see how it goes. So let's just put those in there and there. Okay, I'm gonna put the phone down one second. So I am a size 10.5 UK uh, 11 US and yeah they, <clears throat> they just about fit but they don't go all the way in, which is a bit funny. I don't know why it happens to be so. So if I try and close it. How do I do this with one hand? So the shoes, I mean, I thought Americans have bigger feet than this 10.5 shoes for it to at least fit in the bag. Come on, what's going on? Okay, I managed to close the bag, but there's a freaking bump over there. Shouldn't be no bump, but uh, you can see how much space the shoes have already taken up. So I've just pushed all that down to create a nice base. And with the shoes in, I mean, there's still a lot of space because at the bottom we still have space. So let's just lift them up for now. So we got the bottom space, and let's put in. Uh, some jeans and shorts and boxes which i have here one pair of jeans one pair of shorts and one pair of well three three pairs of uh boxes i don't see no names over there for the boxes okay so let's try put the boxes first over there and then we put the jeans and the shorts let's uh fold them up in points more like that and Put them in nicely and snug in there then we can put the shoes back down right there and we still do have that space inside so we can push those a little bit more in yeah <coughs> okay that's uh, nice 
Okay, so we do have space on the sides here and here. So we can put some socks over there. So one pair of socks, two pair of socks, three pair of socks, and four pair of socks. And more space here for something else. Um, okay, so let's try fill this space up. I've got uh, three t-shirts. One, two, three, sorry, four t-shirts. And we're going to try put those inside. So, that's the space we got. So I've put them there, and there, and there, and there, and there, and there. And they fit perfectly. That's actually, this is actually quite good. This is actually quite nice. Just the only thing is, the shoes do not fit properly inside this thing. In the shoe pocket, because it's bulging out, which is a bit stupid. Maybe it's good because uh, it the shoes help protect uh, the bag when you're putting this on the ground. I mean, that's one way to look at it. Okay, so we're not finished yet. We still have the swimming costume. Can't go on holiday without a costume. Alright. So let's fold that in half like that. Then we put that on the t-shirts right there. Okay, so we got our... Uh, Toilet bag right there. It's a pretty big toilet bag. So let's just uh, put that nice and flat there. Wonderful. So, and then we got something for the side over here, which I think slippers would fit perfectly. And these are reef uh, slippers. You got a bottle opener at the bottom. They're a little bit dirty. I've been walking on the sand quite a bit also but uh, don't worry that they've got some air cushioning on the sides also this is just for the video the places I go and it's pretty dirty so let's try put them there on the side yeah put this snug and nicely beautiful look at that it looks so neat and tidy what else can we put? We got our laundry bag over here that can go on top of the toilet bag, like so. What else can we put? I basically filled this bag up with at least four days worth of clothes. And we can stretch that to maybe seven to eight days by because the space would accommodate more more clothes all right let's try this let's uh let's put in my headphones got my headphones case over there yeah, yeah. they're the sony mx's the best headphones you can buy so we can put those inside there beautiful space and also when you close it it there there is still so much space over here for a laptop to fit in and it will close perfectly you know it won't be squashed or anything like that the way this bag has been designed i think that it accommodates for that sort of a thing okay so now let's uh put my contact lens this is a, this is a bit overkill because these are these are 90 lenses that's uh, but for me one and a half months of contact so let's just put that there right, just just like that and what else can we do what else can we put all right let's uh let's get a towel Okay, so we got a towel here hanging nicely. Okay, 
Okay, so we've got a towel. Let's just fold it up nicely how best I can with one hand because it ain't easy to fold this thing. Just as so, just as so, and one more fold, just as so. Let's try, put this in the bag, on top of the contact lenses, and the laundry bag. Okay, so it just about fits inside. There, um, I would say this is the maximum. They can go inside the back. You can see it's bulging out on the sides quite a bit. But uh, let's try and close it. So easy. Closes so easily, no effort required. That's that's close. That's pretty pretty much close. And look at the bag. That looks really nice. You know, on the camera you can see a lot of stuff on the bag, but in reality, with your own eyes, you can't really see all this this white stuff. You can't see any of it. it. Just looks pure black. Okay, so I've closed the side zip. Fully packed. That's what it looks like. And then I show you guys the other side. fully packed again you can see all these wrinkles on the camera but uh, you really can't tell with the naked eye if you're looking at the bag you don't see much of these indents to the camera you can see quite a bit but otherwise it's really not noticeable and then we can put our sunglasses at the top here so I'm going to just put in the whole case, better to do some overkill. Rather than underkill. So that fit beautifully. And we got one more zip here for a water bottle and I'm just gonna use my hotel bottle of water all right so let's just put that there inside yeah all right so that's one why not put two or let's try Let's try and put this big bottle of water. Don't know if it'll fit, but we have to try. As I said, overkill rather than underkill. Let's remove this freaking label and this is a big bottle bigger than your normal metal water container that you would put in a bag 750 l because it's got a narrow top obviously so it might not fit so the base fits in nicely and if I were to do that and that so you can see it almost fits inside 
but this is a very long bottle and your metal container which is 750 liters sorry 750 ml or 500 ml should fit in here easily very much easily so again well done gomatic for that but it's gonna be my test in the bush to see whether this bag can actually survive and how good these materials are so we got that okay what else do we need to do I don't have my passports with me but that can all go in the side pocket here it looks very nice and flush this should have been the front actually that looks dope so if I were to lift the bag and put it here like that I'll say that looks that looks pretty nice so the gomatic bag um, I got it on Amazon it was on offer on Prime Day for 250 pounds which is Sorry, 200 pounds. I think on the Gomatic website it is going for 260 to 300 pounds. So I got it at a uh, quite a good deal on Amazon. But uh, Gomatic also has their deals on the website. Not too sure what percentage it is, but I I I would rather wait for the deal and buy the bag. It saves you quite a bit of money. All right, guys, uh, I think I have tried to put whatever I can in this bag. Uh, hopefully you enjoy the content, content to maybe make a decision whether you want to get a Gomatic 40-liter uh, bag or a small one. Uh, enjoy. Thank you for watching. Remember, like, share, and subscribe.